All right, as you can tell by the title of the video, it's a special one. One that I feel many of you guys have been anticipating and involves... <laughs> Yo boy! It is the engagement story! Highly requested, happy to deliver. All right, so fun fact, we have been trying to film this video for over a month now. There's always something, either his schedule doesn't work with mine or vice versa. And on top of that, we filmed this entire video yesterday to realize that it was all mute. So we're filming it all over again for you guys. So Therefore, if, trial run is practice. Yes. If we seem a little scripted, it's probably that's why. Right, so let's begin from the very beginning so Eric can say the timeline. This is really my video more than you. Do, I know. It really is. So um, from, from the beginning, I knew I wanted to propose for a while. Um, all of this kind of centered around we went to Jamaica at the end of December so it was more of like a timeline thing I know I've wanted to do it for a while uh, I knew I wanted to do this for a while uh, it was just a matter of finding the right time so I was originally thinking at the end of December because uh, we were going to Jamaica for a trip for her birthday and for New Year's so I was thinking maybe I'll do it then um, the main question was when did you know you wanted to well I know that's the whole point I've known for forever it's just a matter of finding the right time because I Number one, it was a lot of money, and after looking into the rings and how much they cost, I knew I wanted to have enough saved where I could comfortably afford it and, you know, not be spending too much money and, and not have enough saved, so... But when did you start? Like, before last summer. Um, last spring. Really? Yeah, because I was originally thinking over the summer, but then I was like, I'm not going to be able to do it by then. So, originally I was thinking over the summer, and then that was not going to happen, so... Around like October, early November, I was looking into finding a jeweler and that was kind of a stressful process because I knew uh, you can get taken advantage of a lot of time in, in ring buying situations and diamonds in general. Um, I had a family friend connection in Manhattan. Not really a close family friend though, it was a, a friend of my brother-in-law and I don't really think they were that close so I was a little bit hesitant about I don't know, I just was nervous of getting taken advantage of in the city because obviously a lot of people go to Manhattan to buy wedding rings and a lot of them get taken price. advantage of. So mm -hmm. I was kind of putting it off talking to this guy and I wasn't really like, you know, being proactive about it. And then I talked to my sister uh, who lives in Red Bank, New Jersey, and she had a jeweler who she works with a little bit out there. Um, so she got me in touch with him. Um, I got to plug him. <laughs> Um, let me just pull up his business card just to get that quick plug. Uh, not that it's they're not or anything. <laughs> yeah, no. I just want, it was a really great experience. I want to give the guy credit because it was, it really was awesome. He made it a pleasant time for you. His name is Matthew Fisher, which is funny, Fisher. Um, it's in uh, Red Bank, New Jersey. A.H. Uh, Fisher Diamonds. We'll post the information in the Anyway. <laughs> Eric so, went on yesterday putting like the address and everything. Um, I really wanted to find someone who I trusted to get the ring. So I found this guy. Uh, I spoke with him over the phone. Um, told him what I was looking for in terms of, of stones. Because obviously based on what you wanted. And how did you know? How did I know which one? Because number one was the biggest. And number two because it was nice. And, and I could afford it. So it was fine. I, well, no. I... How did you know the shape and stuff? Oh, because you told me. You were very clear about that. And her so that was another question of, that many people ask of like, how did he know the exact ring that I want? I obviously like, you know, through hints here and there, if I would see it on Instagram random, randomly, I would show him the, the exact shape that I would like, which is an oval and he actually nailed it um, without any rhinestones around the band. That was like my only request. I wanted a one solo diamond. You had a very specific, like it wasn't like yeah. I was going in there and you had like the exact shape, you had the cut, you had the material, you had but the But even band. the shape could have been different. Like I wouldn't be mad about. Oval. Gold. I just wanted a one stone thing. So anyway, finding this, this is even, you're cutting me off, okay. first of all. I was finding <laughs> the stone in the first place and then they were gonna craft the ring around the stone. So I looked at a couple options, picked one. This was um, like early, mid-November. It was like November 12th. Told her I was going to New Jersey to for work and she went to the drill. I was low-key nervous she was gonna figure that one out. But uh, I talked to the guy, uh, we picked out the stone, I told him what I wanted um, in terms of the ring, like materials and shape and style. Um, and he said it was gonna be like three weeks. So I was like, oh man, you know, I, I, uh, I'm not gonna be able to do this before Christmas and her birthday and New Year's, which I wanted to, because she'd always said that she doesn't want um, the engagement to be overshadowed by another holiday. 
And there's three of That them. was like my one request. I didn't want it to land on anyone's birthday or any holiday, not even like Valentine. Well, the only one could have been Valentine's Day, but like no holidays. Yeah, late December, there's like three holidays in a week. Yeah. So I was like, this is not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to do it in early January. And then on Thanksgiving, we were home in Connecticut celebrating with her and my family. And I got a call from him, the jeweler, and he said it was ready. And I was like, it was like a week and a half after. So it was multiple weeks uh, in advance of what he had, you know, anticipated. I was like, oh boy, so I guess we're doing this. So I went and picked up the ring like two weeks later. This is like early December. And I was talking to her friends the whole time about, you know, proposal options and locations and what how we were thinking. How did you have them saved? Um, and the jeweler. How did you have the no, jeweler I just saved kept, your phone? I was more nervous about your friends. I had the jeweler saved as a doctor because I, I, I work in healthcare. And I figured she would see like a text from a doctor and wouldn't think anything of it. And I just deleted. I was like, don't text this chat thread <laughs> to your friends. Because I knew you like it, it would come up and be like, why yeah. are you texting on them? Uh, they were really good about it. They were very stealthy. Shout out to the ladies. I, I had no idea, you guys. Yeah, they did a good job. Until the very end, I had no idea. And that was important to, I knew that was important to you and, and important to everyone that you were surprised. That was a big focus as well. Um, but yeah, so I texted all the girls and I was like, this is what I'm thinking. You know, I need, I need some ideas. Um, we talked about doing it at our first date, which is at Bank in Gramercy Park in Manhattan. That's where we met. It's a restaurant. Um, but then we were kind of like, I don't know if she really wanted in a, a restaurant. I feel like that'd be kind of awkward. I wouldn't have mind going to the restaurant, but not, I would not want to be The proposal, that's what engaged, I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, and then I was thinking like a rooftop because we always used to go to bank and then go to 235th in the Flatiron. Uh, so, you know, I was thinking if we're going to do a rooftop, might as well do like a nicer rooftop. Thank God you did the I know, edge as opposed, and not 235th. Yeah. 235th is an amazing rooftop, but it's just... Um, shorter. Shorter, smaller, and very packed. Yeah, so we had been talking about going to the edge for a while, which is this lookout on the 110th floor of Hudson building. Yards. It's beautiful, super modern. Um, and we've been talking about wanting to go there for a while, so I brought it up to her, and I was like, listen, let's go there on like a Wednesday or whatever day it was. No, you said a Friday, you're like, oh, let's have a date night. That was one of the red flags that I could have like noticed, because I, I honestly didn't. So whenever we would go on dates, I'm always the one that plans the dates mm -hmm. and initiates the idea of the date. He's always on, obviously, but like I'm always the one planning it. So I've always mentioned to him that I really want him to get a little bit more you know, like involved in planning certain dates himself without me having to do it all. And he randomly said, hey, let's go to the edge this Friday for a I date night. I was slick with it. I was and I was like, it. oh, that's so weird. So I asked, I remember I asked you, what is up with this date? Because he's like, I really want us to do this every, I I every weekend. I thought I was caught. Um, because I remember he was working in Long Island one time and I he was passing a bridge. And then he mentioned like, I want to bring you here. That could be our second date, like our second date night coming up. And I was like, another date night? Oh my God. And I was pretty good about it. And like, then I was this, guy goes, this guy goes, oh, it's Joe Rogan. He, he did a podcast talking about it, like talking about how important it is to date your spouse or your partner. Well, that in general I wanted to do. but A hundred percent, for sure. It would just work out. It all made it sense to me. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, for sure. He's really like thinking about this, like... It was all very well crafted. Yeah. It's the real. She's saying a lot of words, but what really matters is that I did a great job. So, I knew I wanted to do it at the edge. Um, I knew that she wanted pictures taken. Um, so I, I was talking to her friends. Really, the most stressful and anxiety part that gave me the most anxiety was coordinating having someone taking pictures of it because it's. I mean, it's it's like a rooftop. It's not that big. It's yeah. pretty big, but like you. I mean, and dark. she would it was recognize really dark. them. So I had them wear like hoodies and sweaters and like beanies and they came like 30 minutes after us um so the night from start to finish we uh went to our favorite restaurant in white plains called lago well wait say how you asked my mom and stuff oh yeah so i went the, i knew she had told me that her mom would give it away to natalie if she talked to her and so her not that was. she would give it away but she would not that she would like say natalie you're gonna get engaged but it was more so if he would have told my mom with like a lot of time in between I feel like I would have read it from my mom. Like I would have known. You would have heard it in her voice or something. Yeah, or like the way that she would just act, I would know automatically. So I told her and I told my mom too. I was like, I I feel like if Eric tells you, I'm gonna know from you. Yeah. So he told her the day, the morning, morning of. Yeah, I went and stopped by and asked her. And 
which was, she was super, super sweet. She was super happy about it. It was cute. She was so like happy that he did that and stuff. I'm gonna insert a quick little clip here because he actually filmed a few Shout clips out throughout. Shout out for the idea. That was a good, good call. Um, so I'm gonna insert the, my mom's clip and then I'll also insert some clips of Eric leading up to it. Hi everyone, we have an update on uh, Operation Proposal. Um, I met with a jeweler a couple weeks ago, picked out a couple stones, or took a look at a couple stones, picked one out that I liked, um, told him what I want for the ring, um, and he said it would be like a three or four week timeline. This was two weeks ago, so mid to late November, um, and he pretty much told me it would be done by like mid to late December. Um, so I was thinking of proposing in, in January because we have this trip coming up at the end of December, and um, it just seemed like the right time, but now he reached out last week saying it's ready. Um, I just, this is just now the first opportunity of, I've had to come get it. Um, so I think I'm going to try and push up the proposal timeline and, and try and do it before Christmas and her birthday. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go pick out the, uh, or gra grab the ring and pay for it. And, uh, more updates coming. Proposal is in the works, folks. Here I got the goods. Ring. Oh, my luck, I'll probably drop and break it. I'm not even gonna take it out, but there you see. Post the video later. Got the insurance stuff. Alright everyone. Uh operation proposal has a new update. Um today's Thursday, December 16th, I think, and tomorrow's the 17th. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I found a place, the Edge Lookout in Hudson Yards in Manhattan. Um, I'm driving home from a business work trip from JFK now. Uh, I'm gonna go in the morning and talk to her mom and, and get her a blessing. I wanted to do that as close to the actual proposal as possible because um, I have a feeling she's not gonna be able to hold it in and now he's gonna find out. So I'm gonna go talk to her tomorrow morning and get her blessing and then propose tomorrow. I have all my friends and her friends joining uh, afterward for drinks and her best friends, uh, Joancy and Natalie, or Joancy and Ivani are going to join us at the, uh, the rooftop lookout. Um, and take pictures and a video when I do it. So um, we're looking good. I'm a little nervous, but I'm feeling confident. Everything's in line. Stay tuned. All right, everyone. I'm here with Francis. We got the mother's approval. We're good to go. Next oh step proposal. This is my song. So excited. <laughs> We got it. It's gonna be a success. I'm feeling good. Hey guys, Joancy here. And if you're watching this video, then you already know what's about to happen. Natalie's about to get engaged. And let me tell you what the last couple of days, maybe weeks, have been like with Natalie. Um, Natalie thinks she's getting a dog, okay? And, and unless, you know, Eric is trying to spoil her like that, no, honey, you're not getting a dog, you're getting a ring, okay? And let me tell you something else about Natalie. Natalie gets her nails painted every two to three days. She paints her own nails this time around because of her business. And of course, because she's getting engaged, um, she has had the same nail polish for a week. It's chipping and it's uh, a, like a dull navy blue. And do you think she's picking up on hints? No, she's not. She's not. I've told her straight up I don't like the nail polish. Um, I've sent her countless of cute manis. I told her, oh my God, my nails are chips. I, I, think, I, I think I should get my nails. No, what do you think? What do you think? Um, everyone has told her, hey, maybe you should make a TikTok about this one. It would look so cute for Christmas. Oh my God, Christmas themed nails. Nothing has worked. Natalie still has the same nail polish. I just pray to God that because she's going out today um, and she's getting all pretty that she's going to paint her nails. Let's pray. Hi, Nat. So today is such a, such a special day. You have no idea. And that just makes it even better and more special um but uh, i'm so excited and i'm so happy for you and eric and you know about to embark into this awesome new journey together and i could not be happier for you i love you guys so much i can't even uh, i love you guys so much and i'm so excited and just so happy for you next time i see you you're gonna be rocking your beautiful rock that eric did an outstanding job um in and it's literally the perfect ring for the perfect queen beautiful person that you are love you so much bye so ivani had to ask her sister's boyfriend for a camera for us tonight because my camera is all the way at my mom's house and i apart from natalie I, 
are the only ones that have professional cameras. Who else would we camp out on the floor? Miren, miren este glamour de las mujeres aquí en el piso, señor de humor, esperando. Al lado de un baño. Al lado de un baño. Dios mío. I'm so excited. Um, we're so excited for you to see your, your rock. Don't start now, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, cry now, so don't do oh, it yeah, now. Oh, no, yeah, And like, that's, I think, I just wanna see her reaction to the I know, way, she's gonna cry, she's gonna yeah, cry. she's gonna ugly cry. Like an ugly baby. Like, like a cute also, baby, but an ugly baby. Literally, because you know what's going like, on here? No, Eric. Eric, oh my god, my sugar plate. What did she call it? She called my, it no, my gumdrop, sugar <laughs> plum, whatever. Gumdrop, yeah. Gum drop. They call each other gumdrops. I cannot. My, my gumdrop, lovey bunny, honey, sugar bear, tweety pie. Hey, Vani, did you wear waterproof mascara? Shoot, I don't think I did. <laughs> so, no, I don't do. I know, is yours waterproof? No, no. I forgot. Well, that was silly. <laughs> well, we're are, are you in disguise, kind of? No, I have to. You have to help me, okay? Because yeah, I yeah. bought I brought this, right? So, uh huh. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah, we can do Let's that. see. We can do. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> where? Where am I? No, nah, I think that's perfect. All right. I think that's perfect. Like, who's the director? Damon. It's perfect. And this. Yes. Yeah, I gotta like. Pull this up and make yeah, sure. Like, you wear the glasses? Like, she's not gonna know it's you at all. She don't know it's me. She's not gonna know. Are you wearing glasses? Yeah, but I can't see shit. <laughs> I can't see anything. And I definitely don't want to miss this. So, I need my glasses. <laughs> all right, all right. So, I'm gonna put this a little tighter I'm so that it doesn't move. We're nervous. We were talking about how I'm just the guy. All day. For that, she's super anxious. She put the press on down, but. Thank the you know. Lord. All right, so the day of the engagement, Eric was working till six, and our date night was at eight, seven. You had to be in the city at eight. So we yeah, so we planned six. we planned to go to our favorite restaurant, which is Lago, but I obviously needed to get ready, so I started doing my makeup. Usually, you guys, my makeup doesn't take me a long time. I could do my makeup in fifteen minutes. It's always my outfit that takes me the longest. Like I changed twenty seven times and throw my outfits everywhere, but this specific night, randomly, I just figured it out like what I was going to wear while I was doing my makeup which was a white dress and a white coat and my thigh high boots which is wild to me to think that I picked a white outfit um, and then as I'm doing my makeup I was asking Eric I'm like oh should I do lashes today usually you guys Eric could care less I don't know how you didn't figure it out Eric could care I, I mean I was like I was literally shocked of like that's so weird that he actually cares every time I ask Eric about anything about my appearance or um about like my nails he's like i prefer you without makeup or whatever so i'm like babe should i put lashes on and he's like oh yeah i think you should and i was like what Probably like have that's said no. so weird so i actually had chip nails the entire week because december was a really stressful month for me when it comes to like business and stuff i was crocheting the entire month and I could care less about my nails. So I had a really dark blue nail polish that was completely chipped. And when you have dark nail polish chipped, you can notice it more, obviously. So that entire week, my friends were messaging me and like DMing me photos of nail polish colors and stuff, just like to each other, because we have a group chat. And I didn't really think anything of it. I just thought they were signing ideas for Christmas nails. And, um, even like Ivani messaged me, she's like, oh my god, my nail broke, what should I do? And I'm like, just glue it, like, what are you talking are you about? Me that? Yeah. But they were asking just to check up on my nails. So they were all, both like talking to each other, like, this girl Coast has not Joe, painted her right? nails. So then I start doing my hair, put my outfit on, and I'm looking at my nails and I'm like, you know, because I'm very anal when it comes to my nails. I hate chip nails, I would rather just not have any nail polish on. So I decided to take the nail polish off and just have bare nails because my train of thought was once I do my boomerang Instagram of like the cheers of our dinner it's going to show so I decided to remove them all and as I'm putting my boots on I'm like wait I have these stick-on nails let me actually show you guys so as I was putting my boots on I remember that I had these stick-on nails from impress and I basically took these three out and I'm like hey babe which color should I do again you guys Eric could really care less could really care less and he's like the white one and I was like what? That's like, suspicious. That's suspicious. <laughs> that's suspicious. 
So I was like, all right, I'm not gonna wear the red and I threw it away and then I took these two in the car because I was still indecisive of the color. And I was actually leaning towards the black one more. And then randomly, I don't know, I just decided to put on the white nails, which turned out to be quite perfect. Yeah, it all kind of, it was weird. It all kind of it worked out well. It was weirdly all perfect. So again, I'm, I wasn't even thinking anything of it. So dinner, we were running late to the edge rooftop, which again, I was like, I'm usually freaking out at you for being late, but you, I wasn't really That upset. was another thing. I'm like, why is Eric not like yeah. arguing or... You know, like just well, being she's upset like good at 30 about minutes it. Late to everything that we go to, so it's I'm usually upset about it. But this time, I was like, you know what? This guy. It's not worth it. We'll be waiting. Well, let's, you know. You're gonna have to wait all your life now. We'll get there. <laughs> um. So yeah, we went to dinner and then we went to the city. Uh, parked in Hudson Yards. Went up. It was like beautiful. We were enjoying the the views, and you guys should definitely check it out. Um, it's so so nice. Go at sunset time though. Yeah. They were booked up. I didn't realize that they even had like timings. Yeah. Should have looked into it, of course, but um, yeah, so we went up and we enjoyed the views for a little bit. We were standing over in like one corner, like towards the edge, and then there's another like area a that's thing. like closer to like where you walk in and out, and all of her friends were closer to the where the area where you walk in and out, and she was kind of walking over towards the the, the edge. wall. Just basically, I was recording things and just enjoying it, but and like this guy far would... away from where all the like where your friends were yeah. to take pictures. I knew I had to bring her back over to the area where they were so that I could do it and have pictures taken. It was a very stressful process. But uh, she was overdoing her own thing. I kind of walked away towards her friends. He kept going away, like randomly disappearing. Yeah. And I'm like, where is this guy? Like, what is he doing? I mean, you were kind of on your phone, so it worked out. I know, I didn't really, again, I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, why is he like disappearing? He normally just tells me like, come with me or whatever, I don't yeah. know. So anyway, I walked over to the other side and I brought her over with me and I was like, come here. Cause I saw, I texted her friends like, okay, I'm going to do it right now. So be ready. It was such a, like, and then a I kept telling thing. him as, as he's telling me, come over here, like the, to, towards where my friends were. Um, I kept telling him, I'm like, let's go around like, because no, we no, haven't no, been we around. Should. I don't think we should. No, and I, he's just like, no, no, I think we should just enjoy the view yeah. here. Like, and I remember you told me like, is that the one world trade? And I'm like, the one world trade. You really don't know where the one world trade is. Worked. You, I know. you were like, yeah, I think that that is it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I got over to where I wanted, and we were facing the view. Said a couple sweet things into your ear, and then I got down on one knee, and all of her her friends came out with like the the flash on, and everyone around started taking pictures too. It was like a pretty crowded area, unfortunately. So he basically just tells me, you know, like the the sweet things and stuff. But once he says a specific word, which was like, I want to spend the rest of my life with you that's when like my heart sank and like I, it actually just started re replaying in my head of like oh my god it's happening it's happening it's no, happening no, 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 so no, then no. in my head i'm like no 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 not not right now not right now in my head i kept saying that like i'm not prepared starts, she starts backing away and saying no yeah so i start walk like he's like in one knee and i'm like no 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 like freaking out but like in a happy way it was all genuine in my opinion which is that what um, we wanted yeah i really wanted to be surprised so i genuinely was surprised i'm normally the type you know control freak i like to know everything in advance and i wasn't mentally prepared for this so that's why i guess my reaction was like that and yeah so he didn't even like put the ring on my finger while he was kneeling she backed up <laughs> she said no and backed up i know so then he got up he hugs me I was like, all right, come, come on. And then obviously I say yes. He's like, you haven't even looked at the ring. Like, look at the ring. And I'm like, of course, yes, yes. So like Eric mentioned, there's a lot of people up there, right? And people circled around us all cheering as he was kneeling. And all I'm seeing are flashes. I didn't think anyone that I knew was there. I, all I thought was like, I'm definitely going to ask them for the photos after like this <laughs> These happens. strangers. And then once I said yes, Eric just looks at my friends and he's like, she said yes. And then that's when like they took their scarves off. Oh! <laughs> 
And then, yeah, it worked out pretty well. You know, I mean, the photos weren't the greatest, but it was a tough, I guess yeah. it was a tough, like, area. That was, like, the only thing, I guess. We didn't get as many pictures or videos as I wanted. Um, but I kept telling my friends that I would rather be surprised and not be prepared. Like, I'd rather have chip nails or a horrible outfit and be surprised than have the perfect scenery and perfect outfit and have an idea. Many people ask if I had any assumptions or if I thought it was going to happen. I honestly thought it was going to happen for our my birthday trip slash New Year's trip, which we plan months in advance. I just assumed that it was going to happen there or early 2020, but I had no idea it was going to happen when it did, which, again, I'm glad that... Um, I didn't but every single time Eric and I would do any cute date or we would do anything at all People would always DM me privately and they're like it's gonna happen now or you're gonna get proposed It's gonna happen. So I thought like oh my god if he waits until vacation for Jamaica Everyone is going to DM me like you're gonna get proposed which then you're thinking about it like it's not a surprise anymore So yeah, I'm just glad that it happened when it did Killed it Anyway, so we finished that, proposed, we kind of spent some time up there, and then what was nice too is all my friends from high school and college, I reached out to them like the morning of, I didn't, it wasn't like super advanced, but told them what I was doing or what I was planning on doing, and then... They all showed up. We met them at a bar, I was like, hey, if you want to join, like come, you know, meet you at a bar or something, and it was, it was nice, it was really sweet. Yeah. Thanks for coming out, everyone. Appreciate I know, the support. yeah, and the girls, thank you so much. Yeah, it was really nice, I think it was like all in all pretty perfect. It was. Okay. So many things could have gone wrong, but I, I, nothing really did. Yeah. Right? yeah. All right, so I asked you guys on Instagram to send some questions. I feel like we probably already answered everything. But um, first is, did I see it coming? I didn't for that specific night or day. Did I choose a ring or... Pretty much. <laughs> I, I mean... No, she didn't choose it, but she told me exactly. I, I, vo I vocally expressed what I wanted to my In friends. In very clear terms. And, yeah, which I feel like every woman should do. Like, yeah. you should always either throw hands... I don't think it's bad to pick it out either. But... Yeah, I've, I've seen it more often on TikTok lately of, like, women choosing their ring. Yeah, mom and dad did. You know, it's, it's smart because it's, like, your forever ring, but it's you should also be surprised so uh, what give meme best describes nat's reaction oh man shout out steph um <laughs> the one where michael scott when toby's back and he's like no 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 please yes. god no yeah. <laughs> yes yeah, but funny. it was more so because i wasn't prepared like i just i Obviously, don't know i, know she I was don't know say yes it wasn't like that was like a huge do you feel any different being engaged since y'all we're already living together a little bit i mean yeah i would say yes but it's not again this wasn't like it's something that either of us were surprised about so yeah. not really in that sense it felt really really like it felt different at the very beginning like the first week you're like oh my god and all highs and just mm -hmm. like wow this is your forever person and then obviously you know you're just like back to normal now what went through your mind when he was asking you to marry him I no, was, no 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 I was no no my mind was running wild <laughs> that's a funny story at least um there's a lot of when is the wedding all i'm gonna say is obviously we don't know we're still in our little cloud just enjoying the moments right now we would love to get married sometime soon hopefully in a year and a half uh, realistically speaking 2023 but i would really appreciate if you guys don't bombard me with when is the wedding questions because it was honestly really annoying to receive the when are you getting engaged because i know that many of you guys were doing it you know from your heart and because you really cared about us but just whenever it is i'm going to for sure share out. it yeah. i'm gonna for sure share it and i do want to make a wedding series on here so definitely leave me some questions in the comments below if you guys want me to do a wedding series and i can make a totally separate video doing a personal q a but yeah thank you so much for watching we really appreciate all your support and just like how much love you guys shared with us when it all happened i was so mind blown and just like i couldn't believe how many people really just cared about us and yeah. sent so many well wishes. Like, love. thank you, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, thank you so much to Eric for pulling through and filming this video twice. Gosh, you guys. I hope we answered all of your questions and you enjoyed our story and uh, we'll see you next time. See you next time. Actually, last but not least, let me show you guys a close up of the ring because Eric Fisher did a really good job. The only thing is that this, it's just like...
tilts. There you go. You did so good.